Hello, everybody. This is Faith Hunter again. We had a few technical difficulties on the first time around, but again, this is Faith Hunter. I am so glad that you are joining me for Spiritually Fly the Word. And yes, so just so that we can make sure. Oh, yay. Okay. Thank you, Matthew. <laughs> he said, yay. So that means that you guys can hear me now. So I'm glad. Today's word, right? As you guys know, the word is always based upon my theme and my Dharma talk and what I share and teach during my Sunday morning class at my yoga studio, Embrace Yoga DC. Today's class, mm, it was all about the full moon in Pisces and that is exactly what we are going to talk about today full moon in Pisces. Now, before we dive into all of the things that I'm going to discuss, because we are going to do a practice towards the end of this little short video, but I want you to know that this energy is loving, is spiritual, is warm, it is comforting, it is fluid. Just think about that for a moment and observe and notice how you are feeling right now. Your emotions may be all of that as well. I mean, as we know, the full moon pulls on our emotions regardless of who we are, right? We may feel it in one way or another. If you're really sensitive, you may have been a little tired yesterday or tired today, or your emotions may be like in a whole nother plane. It's all good, it is okay. That's what the moon does. We are mostly water. Now, Think about that fact, right? The full moon, we're mostly water, and it's in Pisces. Like, whoa, that vibration is coming at us in a powerful way. However, we shouldn't be afraid of it. It's this opportunity for us to step into it. Or, as I was talking about earlier today, to just rest in it, be in it, listen to it. Because that's really what I want you to do over the next couple of days, is to simply listen now one aspect of the full moon as you may or may not know the full moon is this opportunity for us to release let go reevaluate reassess decide that we're going to shift and change and do something different or just go it's behind us it is no longer serving my highest good therefore i am letting it go and we can harness that right now but i don't want you to feel like you have to like crank into it and rush into the process this full moon is saying just give yourself time be in the comfort of those emotions and feelings and the decision the choices the options will come if you are willing to listen now i'm going to say share a couple of little things about this virgo and pisces mutable energy right both of them are mutable so this is the perfect time to create some shifts and moves if you haven't already started to contemplate them or even step into them now, the one thing that Virgo brings, right, we're still in Virgo season. So the one thing that Virgo brings is this aspect of organization and the system, right? But it's more around the rituals, the routines to support your spiritual elevation, to support your spiritual growth, to support your spiritual shift. Virgo also brings this very merging and unifying energy of spirit, meaning the merging of your body and mind. So spirit steps in and has this space and this place to, to grow and to flourish and to nourish your soul. The thing about Pisces, right? Pisces, of course, brings the water, right? All the water. And the water is this element of bringing you home bringing you home to yourself it's the mother the mother ocean which brings me into one of my major aspects of what i taught this morning in my yoga class or i don't even like to call it a yoga class in my experience because it's a merging of yoga meditation sound ugh, it's all the things right you guys know but we invoked the energy of an Orisha. And I love teaching with Orishas, those deities just 
inspire me so much. And the one that we invoked and opened the portal up for is Yemeya. I found this drawing online. So there's so many different visuals of Yemeya. But Yemeya is, is the goddess, right? The goddess, the mother of all mothers, the mother of the ocean. And there's so many stories, right? Depending on lineages and there's so many, tons and tons of stories, what can I say, out there about her. But the thing that I found that was very comforting was that originally, and people still re reference her as Yamoja. Yamoja was the goddess of the river, right? But then during the slave trade, right, she came with her children. Again, she is the mother. So she said, oh my gosh, there is the pain, the suffering, the killing, the dishonesty, like all the things that have trapped and carried my children and carrying them to an unknown land. But I am not going to allow them to go alone. I am going to travel with them to the new world, right? And ensure that they don't forget. They don't forget who they are because the mother is always with them. Now, just to add a little element to that, as we started to move into our spiritual practice this morning at Embrace, we tapped into the essence of her immediately. So we're gonna do that for our practice. We're gonna write, so you'll have time. If you need to just quickly step away while I talk a little bit, grab a pen and paper, go on and do that because we are gonna write and journal. But before we do that, the essence and the most important aspect of this stream is that I want you to give yourself space to listen not just in this moment as we are doing this virtual practice together, but over the next couple of days, truly give yourself space and time to listen so that you are, felt, are feeling all of the emotions, but know that you are being held by the mother. Yeah? All right, so as you know, guys, I always read from my book for these sessions, so, Reading from Spiritually Fly, Wisdom, Meditations, and Yoga to Elevate Your Soul. I am on page 108 for those of you that have the book already. And we are in Sutra 5, which is chapter 5, Trust and Have Faith in Yourself and Others. So I'm going to read and then we're going to jump right into a practice. When you listen to the heart and the soul, all will become clear. Big decisions are complicated and often impact the lives of others and of course yourself. That means the mind pushes and tugs and battles on the heart on a higher level. It places the heart in a state of confusion and emotional pressure and mask the feelings of fear and anxiety. In this situation, you have to exercise compassion and give yourself time to pull apart the pieces of emotion and internal anarchy. This includes creating an expanded space for listening, recognizing the various types of emotions moving through you, and truly sitting with your heart's desire. I describe this as having a soul talk with yourself, weighing all the options, moving along the path that's most aligned with your truth, and telling yourself that regardless of the outcome, everything will be okay because you followed your inner voice. So, I like for you to just sit up tall. 
And maybe take a couple of gentle rolls with your shoulders. Know that you can close your eyes in this moment and just start to tap into that element of listening. And then just let the shoulders settle down and relax a bit. We are going to do a little breath of fire. Breath of fire is a powerful inhalation and exhalation out of the nose. And if you're pregnant or on the first day of your moon cycle, don't do breath of fire, just take long, deep breaths. Yeah. So if you haven't done it before, <laughs> powerful inhale, powerful exhale out of the nose. And of course the belly is pumping and pushing the air out. Here we go, take a deep breath in. Exhale, empty out. We're gonna do this for one full minute. And begin, close the eyes. Now as you take the breath of fire, gaze right between your third eye, keep going. Stay with it, keep the spine long, and again, gazing right between your brow. That internal vision, internal wisdom, tapping into what I sometimes also call my first eye. Keep going. Inhale, hold the breath, draw the navel in, keep holding the breath, relax your shoulders. Exhale slowly out of the nose. Stay in stillness and just allow yourself to be, feel, observe. And again, keep your eyes closed. Goddess, who is mother of all, queen of the deep ocean, protectress of women, allow your presence to be known throughout this sacred space. We who call on you, Yemiya, our mother, our womb of creation, ask that your love rolls and washes over us as waves in the ocean as rivers from your breast yemiya mother whose children are fish you who are whose comfort whose inspiration who is forgiveness we call you forth to enter our hearts a couple of deep breaths in and out of your nose and then as you open your eyes i want you to take a moment and write down anything that you need to release let go readjust assess just write it down take a few more seconds and as you write it down, just start to invoke that energy of the water, of, of Yimiya, starting to wash it away, right? The ocean. And know that she's there to hold you. Divine Yamoja, goddess of all, blessed mother of the seas. And take another deep breath in. Exhale, empty out. And I'd like for you to close your eyes and I invite you to join in with me with this mantra, this beautiful chant to Yemaya. And just receive it, right? If you just wanna listen and absorb, do that. It's really simple. Yemeya asesu, asesu yemeya, 
Yemeya oledu. Oledu yemeya. That's it. So again, you can close your eyes. If your eyes are closed, gazing right between your brow to your first eye. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Place the backs of your hands on your legs so that your palms are facing up in this place of receiving and letting go. Simply remain in this place of stillness, allowing your breath to flow naturally in and out of your nose. And I'd like for you to begin to visualize the way your life, way you will move through life. Once you've released, once you've let go of what you needed to, see that picture of you navigating, exploring, living your heart's desire. with that conscious act of letting go of what is no longer serving your highest good, what is no longer elevating your soul, what is no longer nurturing your existence on this planet. And then I'd like for you to imagine yourself right at the edge of where river water meets the ocean. And you start to walk your feet into the coolness of that exchange of river water meets ocean. And you feel the, the warmth of the river, the coolness of the ocean. And your arms open wide. And you start to walk into the ocean. Trusting the process, easing yourself in deeper and deeper. And then you 
you soon begin to release and fall back into the arms of Yameya. Trust, be patient and kind with your soul. Listen to the messages. Give yourself space to feel. As you float sweetly in her arms. Know that you can remain in that place, simply floating and being for as long as it feels right for you. If it feels nice for you to slowly release onto your back and just be, do that. But I definitely encourage you to continue to give yourself time to move through all of the emotions, all of the energy around this full moon in Pisces. And maybe over the next day or two, return to this space of being still, being loving and kind to yourself and allowing the mother to wash over you, to comfort you to hold you nestled in her breast with love. For all your pain, all your suffering, all your healing, all your discomfort will wash away. Simply believe and trust that you are on your right path. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me, and I will definitely provide a replay. So if you just want to skip over all of that, do the mantra, and then do the meditation, definitely do it. And of course, feel free to share it with your friends and family. Have a beautiful Sunday, everybody, and thank you for joining me for Spiritually Fly, The Word, Full Moon in Pisces. Ashe. Blessings.